channel. In today's video, we're making a Christmas wreath. Not just any Christmas wreath. A Harry Potter Christmas wreath. Not just any Harry Potter Christmas wreath. A Yule Ball themed wreath. Now, do I know what I'm doing? No. Have I ever made a wreath before? No. I say this in every DIY. You guys have seen this before me. I hope it looks good because as per usual, as always, <laughs> I am winging this. So if you want to see how I make this Yule Ball wreath, then keep on watching. And if this is the first time you're seeing my face, hello and welcome to my channel. If you would like to become a Potter Puppet with us, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. All my social medias are linked in the description of this video. Go see what I'm up to on those. And guys, I am trying my hardest to get to my next big milestone of 2,000 subscribers. So I'd really, really appreciate you uh, hitting that subscribe button. And also, I want to thank my Patreons. They help me keep this channel running just that little bit more. Matt's running the tap. <laughs> Sorry. So if you'd like to know any more about Patreon, that is also linked in the description of this video. Go check it out. If you think it's for you, then come join us. Now let's wing another DIY. Okay guys, so there's my reef. There's some pop figures there. You've seen the thumbnail. I was gonna say a little cheeky sneak peek, but you've seen the thumbnail. What we're gonna do though, I have some red and silver berries that I want on the reef, but I don't want red because the yule ball is blue. So, let me just get that. So there we go. So what I'm gonna do, I have a nice blue here. I have my trusty paintbrush and my very mucky plate. It looks quite artistic though. But yeah, we're going to paint these berries blue. really nice blue what I'm gonna do I have been drying it with the hairdryer but whilst whilst it's finishing drying what I'm gonna do because like a Christmas tree you put the lights on first but we're putting fairy lights on ours these are little LED lights they are off um, actually my friend Lisa she's a patron um, of ours on the channel she gave me these lights for my Borgen and Burks I have them on my crates um, and there was a couple left over and I thought, oh, these would look nice on the reef. So I'm going to figure out how to untangle these <coughs> and then, um, yeah, we'll decorate with lights. I actually have two of these, so let's make it pretty. That's one on guys, look how pretty the lights are. So yeah, I'm gonna untangle the second one. <clears throat> I'll get that right round off camera and then we'll see how pretty it looks. I think I still need to faff about, we've got a bit of wire sticking up there, but I think this is gonna look awesome. Ta-da, the lights are on. This is looking very festive. So I am gonna make sure these are dry. These are a really nice blue. Um, yeah, straighten them all up again because obviously I had to separate them when painting. And then, yeah, we're going to find somewhere for these beauties and these beauties. looking pretty cute so far so the next thing we're gonna do guys is I have fetched Ron Hermione and Harry out of the Yule Ball collection from the Funko Pop advent um, if you want to see all them pops I will link it 
above so you can go check that calendar it was last year's calendar i did it last year um it was a pretty cool calendar but i've never known what to do with these guys and i do have bauble ideas put them inside fillable baubles um i did a head wig i put a head wig pop mini pop into a bauble if you didn't see that i will link it above there was some pretty cool bauble ideas in that one but yeah i've picked the main three out and i think we're going to sort of stick them around here somewhere i'm going to try and do it so because i'm gonna have to stand the reef up to do this and hopefully i'm going to be able to hot glue them <laughs> to the reef see i'm going to warm the hot glue gun up get this stood up somewhere and i'll be back with you right we're heated up guys we're heated up so i'm gonna put harry in the middle i'm hoping to god that this works and i hope that you can see this on camera i can't believe i'm putting hot glue on a pop figure i really can't oh please work oh look how cool he looks sorry ron sorry it's a hair mask i don't know what i'm talking about let's make sure he's stuck on poppy you know, hot glue is, oh, Hermione's hair. I'm so sorry, Hermione. We will glue you on there. You're not going to stay. Ah! Stay. Okay, I'm going to pour Hermione. She's had too many butter beers. I'm just going to sort her out. Right, guys, we've got the trio stuck on there. You will see proper, nicer photos. As per usual with my DIYs, I'll get my camera out and take some nice close-ups and things of the creation that I am making. But, um, yeah, I think it's looking pretty cool so far. So, I am going to have a look at the other pop figures. And I do have, as well, uh, five of these, six of these little icicles. And I kind of want to sort of incorporate these on here as well, because you'll ball, it's all ice-themed, isn't it? So let's have a look what we can do with this thing. Right, what I've decided to do, guys, is... Oh, my dear Lord, I am so sorry, guys. I am going to put Cedric, Crumb, and... Have I got Cedric? Yeah. Cedric, Crumb, and Fleur on there. Because, obviously, we've got one champion on there. We need the other three on there. So, yeah. I'm going to sort of find an area for each one of these. I will feel horrible doing this to them. Poor things. Right. I hope you can see all right. I don't know if I'm getting in the way. Right, so there's Cedric. God, hot glue is just amazing. We're going to put Fleur at the top, bless her. Let's just bend them in. <coughs> hey, yeah, I think you can see all right. Sorry if I get in the way, guys. Oh, I nearly glued Crumb's face. Right, so let's get him sort of here. There we go. You sit there, Crumb. Oh, don't move. Stay. And then we're going to put Fleur up the top in the middle. Just maybe here. I don't even know if I've got things central, guys. I don't even know. Okay. So we've got our three, four champions, sorry, and a cobweb. Get off. Not cobweb. You know what I mean? The glue gone. So yeah, I've got these icicles now. <coughs> um, I'm just going to go off camera and have a little think and then I'll be back with you. to hang but I kind of wanted them hanging through the middle and just sort of dotted about um obviously I know you've seen pictures but just let's have another look so you've got crumb at the side there Fleur Cedric the trio at the bottom I think that blue turned out really nice on them berries and the lights just really set it off I really really thought that was I'm glad I decided to do that 
But yeah, I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. You'll have to let me know in the comments what you think, guys. Have you got any Harry Potter themed Christmas wreaths? Uh, as per usual, send me them. Send me, send me them. Don't send me them. They're yours. Send me photos on my social media so I can see your creations or tag me in them on your social medias because I love to see other people's creations. You know this, guys. Are you going to have a go at making your very own Yule Ball? There was literally so many ideas I had for a Christmas wreath. It took me a while to plan this. Not because I didn't know what to do, because I didn't have any idea what to do. I had too many ideas. Um, I might do another one if I get chance, because I do have another idea that I would really like to do. Um, but I'm not 100% sure yet. But if I do... Um, I'll definitely film it for you. Uh, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. And now I need to find somewhere to hang it. It's not one on my front door, I know that, because I don't want it to get pinched. But yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. Please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, because it helps me more than you know. And I will speak to you in my next video. Bye, Pods Puppets.